Hi beauties! It's been a little bit since I filmed you a tutorial. Um, life has just been really challenging. So, um, anyway, this is the first time in a while I felt like I could actually handle making you a tutorial. Uh, especially since it's the first time I've worn eye makeup in a while. Um, I was trying a couple different ideas. So I got this idea from um, our private Facebook group, Be Your Most Beautiful You Challenge Group. Um, we encourage one another and um, give one another inspiration in different colors and everything and I had posted asking for inspiration because my makeup um, uniform if you will was um, foundation eyebrow gel um, and mascara and that was it so I needed some inspiration. So somebody told me I should be trying green. I don't remember which one. There are a couple ladies that said to try green because my eyes do turn green sometimes. So they're actually blue hazel, which is blue, gray, green, which can look also charcoal because they're so dark. Um, but every once in a while they'll look green. And um, they're actually, I think they're looking green now, which is perfect because um, I'm going to be using the green which will even bring out the color but you don't have to have green eyes to use this um, and this is kind of an accidental combination so um, it's kind of fun so I don't know about you but I like mixing eyeshadows like layering them on top of each other to create like a subtle color that you can't even tell what it is so um, that's what we're going to do today so I've already done um, my basic face I have on Snowdrop Foundation, which is a new color that um, is really pale, that um, I had to create for myself, and then um, Deep Compassionate Beauty Eyebrow Gel, and I have tight lined my eyes already, natural tight lining, you'll find that tutorial, um, with Cleopatra's Coal, and then um, Snapdragon Blush, and Relitmus Visionary Lipstick. So that's what I've done so far, and I left my eyes blank to show you. So you'll need your base eyeshadow brush, just one brush this time for your eyes. And then this one's nice, your um, loose powder brush, uh, if you have any pesky crumbs that fall down. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it just depends on, I'm not sure what. So um, you're also going to need Haven eyeshadow, which is green, but subtle green. Then um, Dusk Eyeshadow, Refuge Eyeshadow, Innocence Eyeshadow, and a new color called Serendipity Eyeshadow. Um, so we're gonna layer all those. So, um, just a few words about the eyeshadow. You can create as much color, as little color as you want. So if you want, let me show you a tip. If you want to create a little bit of color, like a wash of color, you just sweep it up. If you want to create um, a thicker color or a more true to color color, then you pat it on, okay? So let's get started. We're going to use Haven first. And of course I just dropped, I was holding my, my brush in my lap. There we go. I dropped it. I picked it back up. I, I know how to pick up things with my toes, so. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna use Haven eyeshadow. And because I am pale, I do not pat on this color. Excuse me. Um, I don't really wanna look like the Incredible Hulk. This is what happens when you have pale skin. Um, a lot of people, if they put green on their skin, really looks gorgeous. But because of the fact you can see the colors under my skin, through my skin, uh, I don't tend to like blues and greens as eyeshadow on me in particular. Um, if you're very fair skin, this may be why. that You don't like it if you don't prefer it. So I do a light wash so that way it looks like eyeshadow rather than I'm green. Um, which I have looked green before. Um, you can have a green tint um, when you pass out. Um, if you're very pale, you can also have green tint if you're very pale if you are anemic It's a certain kind of anemia. I forget the name starts with an H Something or the other anemia. Okay, so I'm gonna build it just a little bit uh, I forgot that um, I have to do a little bit different in my mirror versus my camera Because camera you always have to put on more to make it show up. Okay, so as you can tell 
I'm not building more. I don't want to build more. I feel like the Incredible Hulk if I do. Not that this color looks like the Incredible Hulk, but because I look like my skin starts turning green. And that's not my preference. Um, I have a tissue right here because I'm going to clean off my brush between colors. Okay, so um, the reason why I'm using this brush is because it creates more of a soft blended look. This is not a bold look. It is a very subtle natural look. So this is what this brush can do. So you can do everything with this brush if you want. You don't need a second brush. So, okay, so I'm going to put on Dusk. And it goes in this outer corner right here. You see, now I have um, crumbs landing on my cheek. That can happen sometimes. It'd be easier if I looked in the mirror down here. It is very difficult to see in a little couple inch camera screen that's on your phone. So I'm gonna put a little bit more dusk. You just layer however much you want until it creates the look you want. I'm going to be using a lot less color than you will be if you are darker than me, which is like everybody. Um, because I am so pale. And so colors stand out on me a lot more. Uh, I have not done the color under my eyes yet, the lighter color, because um, the green, like I said, I don't want green all the way around my eyes. Okay, so here's the fun part. <laughs> and this was the accidental part. Because this was something new that I was trying. Uh, I really wasn't sure as I was building this look, I wasn't sure what I was trying to do. And my coloring is a little different and you know, we're all picky on how our eyes look and how our makeup looks. So um, I thought, well, let's try Refuge, which is like a silvery purple in my crease. And each time I tried a new color, I wasn't quite getting what I wanted. So I just kept going until I found it. So, but the, the reason why I'm showing you all these colors on is because it looked really cool once all the colors were layered. So I'm going to put something in my crease to blend the other colors together. This is Refuge. Any of these things that I'm going to be adding into my crease will work with this combo. It just depends on what you like best. Okay? So I felt like I needed more color. This seems real smoky silver. And since I can also look gray when I'm going to pass out, I don't tend to wear an awful lot of silver eyeshadow. So um, I just wasn't happy with that. The actual colors themselves are really pretty, but I didn't like the overall look. So I moved on to, let me clean off my brush, Innocence, which is a lighter blush pink. And thought, oh, this will be just right. It almost was. Okay, so I'm gonna go over in my crease, just like I did Innocence. Or excuse me, like I did Refuge. So I'm going to do that. And that almost created the look I want, wanted. It actually looks really pretty, right? Sometimes you'll find that depending on what you're wearing, um, these might adjust depending on how picky you are. I'm picky. Um, so the reason why I ended up going for one more color was because um, I felt like there wasn't enough color to balance the colors on my eyelids. So I picked a deeper color which is a new eyeshadow that I am introducing to you called Serendipity, which is kind of like um, a paler berry blush color. I don't know how to describe it, but it's gorgeous. So I'm now going to put Serendipity over. Like I said, you can use any of these colors in that crease by yourself, by themselves, or you can layer them like I'm doing, or do your own layering. I just want to give you the idea to do the layering because it is so creative looking, okay? So that's with Serendipity, which I like a lot better. Okay, so now every once in a while when I layer, I feel like I lose some of the other colors. So I feel like the purples there are pretty strong and the pinker colors, so I feel like the green's lost a little bit. So at least on the video, in the mirror I can see it. So I'm gonna go back and put just a touch more. Okay. See? Super natural. Super, it kind of gives like a natural smoky look without looking bold. Um, and then I forgot to take Innocence 
and run that under the eyes here. So kind of lighten them and make it look finished. Okay, so that's what the colors look like. And then I wanted, and I of course got the, the last minute there, I got the brush in my eye and loosened my contact. The problem with being a contact lens wearer Whoops. Okay. I upgraded from a turquoise mirror to a silver one. Has um a five times magnifying mirror on the back, which is kind of cool. So okay, I wanted to show you the last tip I did. Um, I don't have mascara on yet. I wanted to show you uh, a tip. So remember how we open it? Here's scraping the mascara off, right? because there's no plug in here, because this is so thick, right? Okay, so this is fun. What you do is you put against your lashes and wiggle back and forth slowly as you pull up. I've already curled my lashes, by the way. So you're wiggling back and forth. And the reason why that is, is it forces mascara to go on both sides of your lashes. Um, and it sticks better that way. And then you can kind of put them on, the, put it on the back, the back of the tips of your lashes, and it keeps you from having to put as many coats on. If you like um, more obvious eyelashes, I'm looking in the mirror down below. That's what I'm doing. I have learned that. Mascara does better in a mirror rather than a teeny tiny screen here. So now you can go back and kind of grab with the tip of the mascara wand the lashes and put them where you want them. You want the outer corner to kind of, the lashes to come out, and then the middle ones to kind of come out straight, and then the inner ones to kind of come up. It's going to widen your eyes and open them up. So you look more awake and your eyelashes will look more obvious also. I'm gonna look at my mirror here. Okay, so um, there's that tip and I have one more as I'm looking in my eyeshadow. I have one more tip for you. As soon as I get the eye set up there. Okay, I'm not going to put uh, mascara on my bottom lashes. I just don't prefer it. Um, but you can use the same uh, technique. You run it back and forth on your bottom lashes. Um, let me see if your lashes are like mine, which is very fine and slippery. So if you're fair skinned, you definitely wanna make sure it's blended well, your eyeshadow. My eyeshadow is blended well, but not against my skin up here. So I'm gonna take my finger and run it over. And then it takes away the line. So it looks like your makeup is now effortlessly melted into your face and you just look beautiful, which is what you're going for because you are beautiful and you really just want to accent it because you want people to see how beautiful you are inside and out and your eyes are the window to your soul. We want to show everybody how beautiful your soul is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, please leave ideas if you have any ideas for me. Um, always open to more inspirations because there are only so many ideas that I can come up with and I love helping you with what you're looking for. So of, as always, there can be before and after pictures, or excuse me, not before picture. I didn't take you before picture, I don't think, but some after pictures um, so you can see closer up the colors because videos are always a little tricky. So anyways, I will talk to you another time and remember that beauty is more than skin deep.